Former State Senator Norm McAllister told the court his relationship with the alleged sexual assault victim started out when he hired her to work on his family farm. He said she was paid around $150 a week and stayed rent free in a trailer on the property. Or part of that conversation where she said, I'll do anything, and you said, that's what a man likes to hear, likes, likes to hear. And, no. and somehow implying that you wanted sex to uh, be part of the job? No, we were looking for help. After McAllister's wife passed away, he said the woman began coming to his house to clean, one day kissed him, and a more intimate relationship began. My family was there. They were great. My friends were there, you know, off and on. They were great. But you need to be able to put your arms around somebody and have them there differently than just friends. I, and that's what that was about. But McAllister told the court the relationship turned sour when he found out her husband was living in the trailer. When she said she felt like a prostitute, you said, well, that's what it turned into, right? That's what it felt like, yes. Around the same time, he said his income started to plummet because of his wife's death. So he asked the woman to start paying rent. I said, I can't. I can't let people live for free on me anymore. Um, you're going to have to start paying rent. 